Hey everyone, welcome to Bills Mafia. This episode is going to focus on the NFL's 2023 kickoff rule change featuring the Buffalo Bills and Naheem Hines. This rule change has caused a little bit of a buzz because people are anticipating that plays such as this, which were electrifying during the regular season, may be eliminated or at the very least lower frequency. This was the second of two touchdown returns by Naheem Hines against the New England Patriots last year in week 18. And when you start talking about decreasing the excitement, the electricity game, of course, you are going to have a potential problem. So first off, what is the rule? Taking a look at an NFL field, such as what we have here at Highmark Stadium, the rule is pretty straightforward. If a player calls for a fair catch anywhere in this blue zone, the play will be brought out to the 25. That's different than a punt where the ball would be spotted where the player called for the fair catch. So this does on the surface appear to benefit the receiving team quite a bit. The NFL has decided to proceed forward with this, despite all of that in the name of player safety. This is my reaction to the rule change. Pretty big meh. Why do I say that? I actually happen to agree with the NFL here. The data shows that overall kickoff returns are not a significant enough play to warrant jeopardizing your player health. What do I mean by that? Well, let's turn to Bill's Mafia philosophies. So specifically, what I'd like to get at is the concept that, realistically speaking, most plays are so close to the 25-yard line anyway that those electrifying plays, those disasters, those miracles really are not frequent enough to cause a big fuss. So starting with that, what we have here is just all 32 teams sorted by their yards per return with the Buffalo Bills highlighted in blue and red. And what you see here is you do have a few teams that are, are pretty bad with the yards per return and not really a lot of teams that are really great at this. Your league average of 22.8 suggests that overall your yards per return are seeing most kicks uh, being brought back to around that 25-ish yard line anyway. Major confound with that chart is that yards per return is not the same thing as starting field position. So these charts are the ones I'd like to focus on, and these are related to starting field position with the caveat that there are some data gaps or potential anomalies. These numbers may not be incredibly precise, but they should be really good numbers, uh, you know, plus or minus a few. So for the NFL in the 2022 NFL regular season, we have 2,641 total kickoffs to work from. Of those, right out of the gate, 1612 or 61.04% of those resulted in a touchback. So what we're looking at is really those other kicks, the kicks that were returnable and how many of those might shift towards that 25 yard line or essentially the same thing as a touchback. Now for this chart, I used a heat map kind of concept to show uh, the different zones that a ball could be returned to. And right out of the gate, the big number here is the gray one, the average one, 29.72% or 785 kicks that were returned resulted in field position very similar to that 25 yard line. Anyway, I chose plus or minus 10 yards from the 25 yard touchback line because that is within one first down difference for a drive to be successful or not. And when we start seeing these outliers, we have what I call nine disasters or fumbles, almost statistically insignificant in this concept. For bad returns, we have 92 of those where the team couldn't really make it past around 15 yard line. That's a, a decent number of those, but nothing crazy. For our good returns, 104 of those, which is pretty similar to our bad returns and great returns and touchdowns. We have 16 returns brought to the opponent's side of the field. And of those, six of those resulted in a touchdown. As noted earlier, two of those came in one game from the Buffalo Bills. Not very common, not something that you want to count on. And then on top of that, going back to that 16 great returns to the opponent's side of the field, that's not even enough for the entire league to have had one of those for the entire season. Only half of the league would see something like that in a random distribution. So again, pretty infrequent. What's more important though is how the rule might change the game. And so what this chart shows is the number of returns that were brought out or brought back, and then the result of those. Now, the reason this is so important is because with the new rule, we have 101 returns last year that theoretically could have been fair catches and then brought out to the 25 yard line rather than this disaster or bad return result. 
So that is close to 10% of the total kicks returned that could theoretically shift. But I want to return back to this concept. Of the returnable kicks, most of them, the vast majority of them, just over three quarters of them, ended up within that uh, 15 to 35 zone where you're really not seeing much difference from a touchback anyway. So jumping there from 76 to about 85, 86% is not really a huge shift in the results of the league. And again, that's assuming that all 101 of these kicks would actually have been fair caught rather than the returner trying to make something happen. And again, if you're a special teams coach, think about this kind of logic here. If you trust your returner to get back to about the 25 yard line anyway, there's really no incentive to ask them to stop or create that fair catch unless there is a busted coverage. So you probably will shift some of these 101 to fair catches, but I don't think it'll be all of them. And even if it was all of them, this is not this dramatic shift in uh, field position for a lot of plays. Now, I did choose the plus or 10, plus or minus 10 yards from the 25 somewhat arbitrarily. So I did want to focus this in just a little bit for my final chart to within five yards of that touchback line. And again, we see the same thing with the data. Overwhelmingly, everything points in the same direction. The big plays, whether they're for ill or for good, are incredibly rare. And on top of that, most plays, the vast majority of plays, are going to be at that 25-yard line anyway. So from a statistical perspective, the kickoff is pretty much a foregone conclusion of where the ball is going to be spotted. So in this case, the NFL might have a point. The electricity of that random touchdown you may see once or twice a year from following your team really might not be worth all of the hassle for that. So trying to make this a safer play is not necessarily a bad idea. And with that in mind, that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and check out buffalorumblings.com for more great content from myself and others.